Hello, hello, shalom, and welcome back to another episode of Nellyville Reviews Drag Race. We are already in episode 14. We are at the, 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 the final stretch, the final run. It's getting real. We, we saw Shakobi is about to step down. We are about to have our new reigning queen. So let's just talk about it. So episode 14, this episode was called Booked and Blessed. And it was, it was a pretty good episode. This was the episode that determined who were going to be the finalists. Um, you know, we've had a final four for a, a long time and we ended up with a final three for the first time since like, season eight you know you never really know if you're gonna get a a final three or a final four um but it's 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 been a long time and we're gonna talk more about that at the end but anyways so booked and blessed there was a mini challenge this episode which which was cute the girls had to lip sync to kitty girl um like underwater they had to like put their face in the water and lip sync, like pretend like they were in a pool. Um, I didn't know how I felt about it. Like it was cute, but I, I just want, I, I assume, I hope that they changed like the water out and stuff in between each take. I hope that the girls didn't have to like share what, like, y'all you know what I mean? Like it just seemed kind of nasty to me, you know what I'm talking about? But it was cute and Sophia ended up winning the mini challenge and she won like a cute little trip to Puerto Vallarta or whatever. So like, okay, Sophia, see you. Anyways, for the maxi challenge, the girls had a, 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 had to write a memoir or at least like, you know, plan it out, not an actual book. It was a branding challenge. You know, every season we get a branding challenge and this one was about writing a book coming up with uh, your, your title. They had to do a photo shoot for the, you know, for the cover of the book and all of these things. Um, every season gets a branding challenge, I believe, but we haven't seen a book challenge, I don't think since season two. It's been a long time, if I'm not mistaken. This makes sense that it would be a book branding challenge because RuPaul just released a new book in March, on my birthday, March 5th or whatever. They did the photo shoot with RuPaul and Ru was really giving me like throwback, like um, America's Next Top Model, Tyra Banks on set, helping the girls take their pictures. He was really giving some good direction. It was nice to see the girls um being being able to have that one-on-one -on -one time with Rue and Rue I mean Rue's a professional he knows what he's doing he is a man of many hats all four girls did a pretty good job during the photo shoot but the two standouts for me was definitely Nymphia and Sephira they the way that their book covers turned out um the titles of their book um the whole package together and of course Nymphia was very worried about writing you know she struggles with these writing challenges um but she she pulled it out on the other side um so Nymphia when her book was called breaking wind the art of letting go she by far um Sophia was a close second for me but Nymphia had my favorite book cover for sure like everything about it was just perfect now i really like Sophia's book cover and i like the uh concept of her book slew foot because all through the season rupaul you know um you know made these jokes you know lighthearted, you know not not being mean but you know always pointed out how Sophia was slew foot and her book was you know she put emphasis on that because she was like this is me owning this thing that i was once insecure about so i like that she used something um that rupaul you know made jokes about and something that years ago growing up was insecure about now she's made it a whole brand so that was smart and and then nymphia like her book was about uh you know letting go she had an issue with how she looked you know western um appearances are very much praised it's very prominent in and you know in all over the world that's what's labeled as beautiful western features and as being of asian descent she struggled with that and she's ta talking about how she's working through it um plain jane 
I didn't like this cover at all. I really didn't even hardly understand the concept of the book. You know, most things in Drag Race is to be lighthearted. But I think this is one of the few moments that you had a chance to not only be funny, but also take the chance to be a little more serious. And, a, you know, it's rare that you're expected to do that. But, but this cover, this outfit, this hair, it just, I don't know. Her book, Plane Crash, How I Walked Away from Disaster. The book cover just doesn't say that to me. I'm sorry. And then Q, the outfit was okay for the cover. But I really feel like because Q has turned out so many great looks, you are a designer. I feel like this was a flop. And then the name, Alphabet Soup, Savor Every Bite. Um, Bob the Drag Queen said something, you know, that really made sense. It should have been called Alphabet Soup, Savor Every Sip. And even Michelle, Michelle Visage pointed out, do you bite soup? Like... It didn't tell me anything about what this book was about. It didn't tell me who you are. It, 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 it told me nothing. It's giving very juvenile. There's a disconnect between what she's wearing and what the actual cover, like the lettering and the picture. I, like, I just, I, I think it, it, it just, you knew she was in trouble. So on top of writing these little excerpts for their book and taking the picture, they also had to do a podcast interview. Um, who did they do? They did the interview with, uh, oh, who did they do it with? With Matt Rogers. I think that's who they did the interview with. Sure. Um, so they did this podcast interview by far. Nymphia and Safira did the best. Safira was the best interview podcast. So package all together. The way Safira carried herself in the podcast interview it was the most professional. It was the most easy. You just felt that star quality. Now, Nymphia's uh, interview went really well because you could see the vulnerability. You could tell she was really just being herself. And it was like light bulbs. It was like she was, things were clicking for her in that moment. It was very raw. It was just a great interview. Now, Plain Jane, baby, you dropped the ball because this was an interview about you promoting your book. This was a branding challenge, and you fell right into the trap of when the interviewer asked you to, you fell into the trap of being shady. Interviewers will ask you questions to get you to say some shady things, and you fell right into it. And why you felt the need in this moment to bring up a mandatory meeting. Baby, Amanda, Amanda been gone. Amanda's moved on with her life. Why can't you? Like, what are you doing? This is not about Amanda or any of the other queens. This was about you. And I feel like playing kept it very surface level. Um... I didn't really see a vulnerability. I didn't really see a, I don't want to say it felt disingenuous, but it was, it was not an underlying serious tone of, you know, the context of, of the book. It was very, it was, it was just very superficial. It was very surface. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't as deep as uh, Safira and Nymphia. And then there's Q. Now the cover was weak, but her, podcast interview wasn't that bad um she was she, i felt like we connected with her but in comparison to what nymphia and what Safira did like yeah and Safira was the clear winner like clear professional like crown her now like type of vibes so let's look at the runway looks so the theme for the runway was fandango for fandango and you know, honestly, I really wasn't impressed with the with the runway looks. Um, the theme seemed like it was really fun, but I, shockingly, I feel like all four girls flopped. And when you have Nymphia has killed it every runway. Plain Jane always serves on the runway. Q always serves, and I, and Q and Nymphia they make their looks. And you know, Safira has strong looks, but every now and then, you know. We'll, I just expected a lot more for all, from all four of them. And none of these looks really did it for me. I mean, Nymphia, this Marie Antoinette look, it just was not, it just wasn't one of your best. Plain Jane, um, 
this this was the best out of all of them it was it was it was good it was it was the, definitely the best of the wig was wonderful now some a wig like this on the cover would have been much better and then q honey i feel like this is so similar to what to fair wore last week and so similar to uh what maya wore in her i think it was like her interest look or something but it was just okay. And then Safira, the hair and makeup, gorgeous. Stunning, couldn't be any more perfect. But the outfit was just kind of, it was kind of boring. And so I, I hate that for this like final runway look, the girls kind of really didn't turn it out. Um, but you know, it, 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 it is what it is. You know, when you're on a show for this long, and, you know, I'm sure the girls had to make decisions on, you know, they probably wore some things earlier in the competition that were planned to be worn later on. You know, you've been here a long time. You're running out of drag. At this point, you just have to wear what you have left over. Um, but it seems like all of these looks were dedicated pieces. But, I, you know, I, I don't know. It just kind of, I don't know. I guess they just weren't inspired by the theme of the runway. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. So the winner of the maxi challenge ended up being Nymphia. Um, I mean, I guess I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I would have liked to have seen Safira win, but I'm okay with Nymphia winning. Like that's, you know, that's fine too. In the bottom two, you had Plain Jane and Q, which was, I was not shocked by that. Um, they lip sync to better be good to me by tina turner and uh you know i think all of us were expecting a double shante but uh q got eliminated and q i want to say was the only girl in this whole season that you really saw that disappointment when plain jane won which plain jane had four wins you know, Q had to, when you get to this point, you do have to factor in track record. How have you been doing throughout this whole competition? And yes, the lip sync in the moment obviously counts for, you know, it, it has a lot of weight. But it also really matters, you know, what has gone on throughout the whole entire season. And there was just no way Plain Jane could go home unless she just really flubbed. I mean, they both did decent in the lip sync i do think plain jane won by a hair um but with all things considered yeah plain jane had to go on to we have a final three and like i said it's been so long since we've had a final three i think that q really felt that that blow because you know we really thought you thought that that rue was gonna say and q you stay too. And this has been a first time in a long time. We, we we are in season 16. We haven't had a final three since season eight. So when you get that far, it just, you could tell. The only other girl throughout the whole season, and I feel like it, it really truly, like you could see like the devastation was Plasma. Now, not to say that the other girls weren't hurt. Obviously they were. But the other girls, it was kind of like, okay, I can see this was probably my time to go um i'm proud of what i did and you know i gave it my all but i think to get this close to the finale and go home that that's a different kind of hurt versus going home second third fifth sixth it's gonna hurt either way but i think because we've had a final four for so long now from a producer standpoint from a viewer standpoint from a creative director standpoint um i think that having a final three to switch it up i think if this is good for television but wow I, I feel for q you know a few weeks ago she was going back and forth heavy with with the fans and, and things and uh i think she's completely left social media at this point i don't know if she will come back i hope that she comes back to social media but everyone needs a break and these fans can be br brutal these fans are like sports fans and if y'all follow sports teams online, y'all know sports fans get really, really nasty. And, um, you know, the fans of Drag Race, 
they are just as bad as sports fans, if if not worse. And, um, you know, at this point, I don't want to say you know what you sign up for, but you know what you sign up for. And um, I think I think Q is just really... You can see it. You can see the devastation. You can see the the shock, the hurt, the you know. I and I I hate that for Q, but you know, here we are. So you know, congratulations to Nymphia. I think this is her third win. Um, and we have Sophia and we have Plain Jane. Now next week we have like a reunion slash um, Lala Palooza uh, dance off lip sync battle with all the eliminated girls so we're not really gonna we're not gonna get a crown queen for two weeks so next week is gonna be all the queens battling it out that's gonna be a really fun episode i like that rupaul introduced this a uh, like kind of all stars thing um to a regular season so um it's gonna be nice to see the eliminated queens come back and get some of that spotlight and um whoever wins the eliminated queen battle they're gonna win fifty thousand dollars so you know um maybe best queen win i'm i'm excited to see that and q baby take the time you need but i hope you come back um my money is also fair to win i really think the competition is hardest to lose um I think it's going to come down between her and playing Jane. I, I don't know. I mean, I would be fine with any three of these queens being crowned. I think Safira's going to take it home, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was playing Jane, honestly. Um, but anything can happen. Nifia might walk away with the crown. We, I, yeah. Um, we will see. So anyways, those are my thoughts for this week's episode. I'll see you guys next week for... The limp sake battle child. Anyways, let's see what you can